Hey guys, Mr. Relatable here. Today I'm going to be making one of my most requested videos, and that is how to make a color swap minigame in Fortnite Creative. I've gotten non-stop requests on how to make this minigame, and I finally felt like it was time to just hop into Creative and show you guys exactly how to do it. The first step in this tutorial is simply grabbing the colored tiles that you want to use for your game. For me personally, I'm going to be using red, orange, green, and blue. For the simplicity of the tutorial, I'm only going to be using four tiles. However, you can use up to five, six, even seven if you want. Just note that your mechanics will probably be slightly different from mine. So you're just going to want to go in and change a couple things using the principles that you're going to be learning here today. After you have your tiles placed, now we're going to go into the devices menu and grab what is called a trick tile. Once you have your trick tile device, you're going to want to place it on every single colored tile that we place. After you do that, hit customize and change a few of the settings. Trigger on player contact should be on no, trigger feedback should be on none, and reset when receiving from channel 10. And you're unfortunately going to need to do that for every single trick tile. Once you have that set up, now we need to go through and change each of them so they are color specific. So for this example, I'm going to be going into my red tile and then changing trigger when receiving from to channel one. You'd want to do this for every single red tile that you have placed. Afterwards, I'm going to be going into my orange tile now, setting it to trigger when receiving from channel two. Now we're going to go into the green tile, trigger when receiving from channel three, and lastly, the blue tile, trigger when receiving from channel four. Make sure you've done these for every single tile that you have placed or else it won't really function properly. So we are now done setting up our tiles. The next step here is setting up an RNG device so a random tile is selected. The way that this mini game works is a random tile is selected and then the players must run to that specific tile while all the other ones around them disappear. For example, if a red tile is selected, the players must run and stand on a red tile while the orange, green, and blue tiles all disappear. So what we are going to need to do here is go into the devices menu and grab an RNG device. Afterwards, place it on down and change a few settings. Value limit, we're going to put to four. Roll time is going to be on instant. Zone is going to be forward. And then activate when receiving from channel nine. After that setup, grab some triggers. With these triggers, place them in the zones that the RNG device creates. Each trigger is going to have different settings, so pay attention. The first one is going to be when triggered, transmit on channel five. Second one, when triggered, transmit on channel six. Third, channel seven. And fourth, channel eight. Now that that's done, we are finished with our RNG device. Next, we're going to go into the devices menu yet again. This time, we're going to grab a device called a sequencer. Once you've grabbed your sequencer, place it on down relatively close to the zones that the RNG device creates. The reason we're doing this is just so you don't get lost within the channels. After they're placed down, go into the settings on the, all of them and change a few things. Length, width, and height should all be on 0.5. Start sequence when receiving from is going to be different per sequencer. The first one is going to be channel 5, second channel 6, third channel 7, and fourth channel 8. Now we are going to set up the triggers that are going to go inside of the sequencers. These are the triggers that determine which color is selected. For the sake of simplicity, I have put colored cubes in front of the sequencers to differentiate which sequencer is going to select which tile. For example, the sequencer with the red tile in front of it, or the red cube, is going to activate the red tile, thus making all other three colors go away. The first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a trigger and place it inside of the sequencer zone. We're going to be doing the red tile first. Put the delay on this trigger to two seconds. Now put when triggered transmit on channel two. Copy and paste it and put when triggered transmit on channel three. Copy and paste it one more time when triggered transmit onto channel four. Now to give some explanation, we have it so there are three triggers on channels two, three, and four. 
If you remember earlier, the trick tiles we set up for the orange, green, and blue were on channels two, three, and four. What this means is when the sequencer activates, two, three, and four, AKA orange, green, and blue are going to disappear. What does that leave? That leaves red, which is on channel one. We are going to take this and apply it to the other sequencers. For the second one, we want orange to be the only one that's remaining on the board. So we need to set up our channels so it is on channels one, three, and four, leaving two as the remaining channel, as orange is on channel two. Same thing with green. We're gonna need to put up one, two, and four, leaving three as the only remaining channel, as green is on channel three. And lastly, for blue, one, two, and three are what we are going to put the trigger on and leave four open as four is the channel that blue is hooked up to. I hope this made sense. If it didn't, just follow exactly what I have in the video and it should work fine for you. Next, we need to set up HUD message devices. This makes it so whenever a color is selected, a message will pop up on your screen to let you know which color you need to go stand on. Go into the devices menu and grab one. Place it on down and edit a few settings. We're gonna be doing the first one as red as that's what we have set up here. The message should say red. Time from round start should be off. Display time is three seconds and show when receiving from is channel five. Copy and paste that. And now we're gonna do orange. Change the message from red to orange and then show when receiving from channel six. Copy and paste it again. Message should be on green and then show when receiving from channel seven. And then lastly, blue. Copy and paste the device one last time, change the message from green to blue and show when receiving from channel eight. And last but not least, we need to set up a timed objective device. Go to your creative devices menu and grab one. Place it on down and edit a few settings. Start when round starts should be on yes. Time should be five seconds. Countdown visible on HUD should be no. Completion behavior, reset. Urgency mode, disabled. Audio effects, off. Activation sound, off. Timer sounds, off. Start when receiving from channel 10 and when completed transmit on channel nine. After you have that, grab one last trigger. Place down the trigger and change a few settings yet again. Delay should be 10 seconds. Trigger when receiving from channel nine. When triggered, transmit on channel 10. And with all of that set up, we are finished. Feel free to start up your game now and test it and see how everything goes. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you do wanna add more tiles, just use the techniques that I taught you in this video, such as the sequencer hitting all of the triggers except for one, and then you can have all the tiles that you want. But if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know and make sure that you guys are subscribed as I will be uploading quite consistently in the next upcoming weeks. And I'm sure you guys don't want to miss any of the new videos. But with that out of the way, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and thank you for all the support that I've gotten recently on my more recent videos. It has been really awesome and I love reading your guys' comments. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.